what is shareholders fund equity plus preference share 911500 divided by 120000 it works out 7.60 return on capital employed is equity share capital preference share capital and debenture hello my dear students i am dr b s subramanya called by name dr b s s professor in commerce and management vidyashram first aid college a temple of excellence mysuru today in this session i am going to hand financial management one fifth semester unit 3 session 1 in favor of capital structure i am going to explain what do you mean by capital structure how it will be me it is a sales minus variable cost is contribution minus fixed cost is profit minus interest on debenture profit before taxation minus taxation that we are going to tell in the capital structure the following data are available a limited b limited c limited units 75000 60000 45000 selling price per unit 80 120 170 direct material direct labor office selling expenses this is your variable cost per unit then fixed cost is given they have given they have interest on the venture then preference dividend is given then percentage tax 35 45 8 10% debenture on it this is the rate of interest of debenture this is the rate of dividend on preference share calculate earning per share calculate on shareholders fund and roi return on investment come back unit sold 75000 60,000, 45,000 selling price into 80, into 120, into 170. If we multiply, it comes to 60 lakh, 72 lakh, 76 lakh, 50,000 minus variable cost. If we add this variable cost per unit is there, see that variable cost 60, 70, 125. 25. If we multiply, 45 lakh. 45 lakh, 56 lakh, 25 thousand. If we deduct, that is the contribution minus fixed cost should be deducted. So if we deduct the fixed cost, it becomes 10 lakh, 80 thousand, 90 lakh, 60 thousand, 12 lakh minus interest on debenture is given 1 lakh, 2 lakh, 30, 3 lakh, 20. If we deduct now, it becomes 9 lakh, 80 thousand. That is 17 lakh, 30 thousand. This is 8 lakh, 80 thousand. That is EBT minus tax. If we calculate, three lakh forty-three thousand, seven lakh seventy-eight five hundred, four lakh twenty-two four hundred. The difference is six lakh thirty-seven thousand, nine lakh fifty-one five hundred, four lakh fifty-seven six hundred. Minus preference dividend is given, sixty thousand, forty thousand, fifty-five thousand. If we deduct, it is five lakh seventy-seven thousand. Nine lakh eleven thousand five hundred, four lakh two thousand six hundred. This is earning available. Number of equity share is given one day, one lakh twenty thousand, one lakh fifty thousand. If we direct five lakh seventy seven into one day, five point seven seven nine lakh eleven thousand five hundred divided by one lakh twenty thousand. It works out seven point six zero four lakh two thousand six hundred. Divided by one lakh fifty thousand, it works out two point six eight. Come back here. Return on investment. Return on capital employed. So here, first one. Return on capital employed is equity share capital, preference share capital, and debenture. We come back here. Equity share capital number of shares, the value per share. It is number of share is one lakh. Share value per share is hundred. It comes to one. So one followed by seven zero one crore. B limited one lakh twenty thousand into hundred. One crore twenty lakh. C limited one lakh fifty thousand into hundred. One lakh fifty one crore fifty lakh. So this goes to number of shares. Then preference share capital sixty thousand rate of dividend ten. If that means if you earn the so rate, if you have got a dividend of ten rupees, hundred is the face value for sixty thousand. How much? So sixty thousand divided by zero point one zero becomes six lakh. Forty thousand divided by point one zero is equal to four lakh. C limited 
55,000 divided by 0.10 is 5,50,000. This goes in favor of preference share. Then come back to debenture. The rate of interest is 0.10. So 1 lakh divided by 0.10 is 10 lakh. 2 lakh 30,000 divided by 0.10 is 23 lakh. C limited 3 lakh 20 divided by 0.10 is 32 lakh. And now come back to capital employed 1 crore 6 lakh 10,000. 1 crore 16 lakh for A limited. For B limited, 1 crore 20 lakh plus 4 lakh plus 23 lakh. It works out 1 crore 47 lakh. C limited, 1 crore 50,000, 5 lakh 50,000, 32 lakh. It works out 1 crore 87 lakh 50,000 return on capital implied. So A limited, 10 lakh 80,000 come back, earning before taxation. EBIT, EBIT divided by capital employed, 10 lakh 80,000 divided by 1 crore 16 lakh, it works out 9.31, come back to B limited, your EBIT is 19 lakh 60,000 divided by 1 crore 47 lakh, it works out 13.33%, C limited, 12 lakh divided by 1 crore 87 lakh, it works out 6.4%. So here, Point here, up here word is no, this is important. Capital employed means it includes equity share capital, preference share capital, debenture. This is one. Calculation written on investment or capital employed, EBIT divided by this. This one, shareholders fund, written on shareholders fund, earning after taxation divided by shareholders fund. Shareholders fund means equity plus preference share capital. Come back here, EBT. 6,37,000, this is earning after taxation, see that, earning after taxation, 6,37,000, 9,51,000, here if we add 1 lakh plus 60, this is a preference share, 1 crore plus 6 lakh, this is 1 crore 6 lakh, then B limited, 1 crore 20 lakh plus 4 lakh, 1 crore 24. This is equity plus preference share equity plus equity share. So it works out 6 point not 1. So this is 6 lakh 37,000. Come back here. This is earning after taxation divided by capital employee. Capital shareholders fund. What is shareholders fund? Equity plus preference share. So 6 lakh 37 divided by 1 crore 6 lakh. 9,51,500 divided by 1,24,000. Here, A limited, written on capital shareholders fund. Shareholders fund. Shareholders fund. Equity plus preference share capital. equity plus preference share capital, then this 6 lakh earning after taxation, 6 lakh 37,000 earnings after taxation, this is your EAT, EAT, EAT. This is preference share capital plus equity share capital, preference plus equity preference. Here, come back here. This is equity share capital plus preference share capital and debenture. Then here, 10 lakh 80,000 EBIT. This is your EBIT. EBIT. EBIT earning before interest and taxation divided by total capital employed equity share capital plus preference share capital plus debenture here work out capital employed 
equity plus preference plus debenture, one crore. Here also we limited return on equity or return capital is one and the same. So we are calculate this. A company's capital structure consists of 5 lakh equity capital and 2 lakh 10 percent debenture. The sale increased by 25 percent from 40,000 to 50,000. Selling price is 10 per unit and variable cost is 6 per unit. The fixed expense amount 1 lakh, the rate of tax 30 percent. You have to calculate for 40,000 and 50,000. We'll go with sales. First one, 40,000 units into rupees 10. This is 4 lakh value, 50,000 into rupees 10, this is 5 lakh. Minus variable cost, six rupees per unit, 40,000 into six, another 50. 50,000 into 6, it is 2 lakh 40,000, then it is 3 lakh, deduct, this is 1 lakh 60,000, this is 2 lakh, what is this is called, contribution, minus fixed cost. What's your fixed cost? 1 lakh. Deduct. This is your 60,000. This is 1 lakh. This is EBIT earning before interest and taxation minus interest. What's your interest? 2 lakh into 10 by 100. 2 lakh into 10 by 100. 20,000. 20,000. Deduct, this is 40,000, this is 80,000, earning before taxation, minus tax, what's the percentage, 30%, 30%, 30% of 40,000 is 12,000. 40,000 into 30 by 100, 12,000, 80,000 into 30 by 100, 80 into 30 divided by 100, 24,000, deduct 18,000. Fifty-six thousand. This is earning after taxation. Check up four lakh, five lakh. So this is two lakh forty thousand, one lakh sixty, two lakh. Fixed cost one lakh, one lakh. Deduct one lakh sixty, one lakh means sixty thousand, one lakh. Earning before interest and taxation. Interest on debt twenty thousand, twenty thousand, forty thousand, eighty thousand. Then tax at 30%, 12,000, 24, it is 18,000, 56,000. So earning after taxation, come back here. Operating leverage.
contribution divided by EBIT combined. What's your contribution? One lakh sixty two lakh. Okay, one lakh sixty thousand two lakh contribution. Then your EBIT contribution divided by EBIT sixty thousand one lakh one lakh. So one lakh sixty thousand one six zero divided by sixty thousand two point six seven. This is two. Then financial leverage. E B A T. Divided by E B T. Come back. What's your E B I T? Sixty thousand. One lakh. What's your E B T? Forty thousand. Eighty thousand. Forty thousand. Eighty thousand. Divide. Sixty thousand divided by forty thousand, one point five, one lakh divided by eighty thousand, one followed by five zero divided by eighty followed by three hundred, one point two five. Then combined leverage two point six seven into one point five two into one point two five two point six seven into one point five. This is four. Then two into one point two five two into one point two five two point five two point six five times times times. Times. So I will go with once again. Your sale is four lakh, five lakh. Your variable cost is two lakh forty, three lakh, one lakh sixty, two lakh. Minus fixed cost one lakh, one lakh. ABIT sixty thousand, one lakh. Minus interest twenty thousand, twenty thousand. You have forty thousand, eighty thousand. Minus tax twelve thousand, twenty four thousand. It is eighteen thousand fifty six thousand. So operating contribution divided by EBIT. It was called it financial leverage. EBIT divided by EBIT. Combine leverage. Multiply this. Uh, this is for ten marks question. Hope you understand. Very very simple. Sales minus variable contribution minus fixed cost is profit. That is EBIT. Then interest on the venture. Earning before taxation. Minus tax earning after taxation. What is operating leverage? Contribution divided by EBIT. What is financial leverage? EBIT divided by EBIT. Come on, right? Multiply. Hope you understand. So this will ask for ten marks, and first one question will be asked for fifteen marks. Hope you understand. We'll meet in the next session with another good problem of capital budget in the nation. Till then, goodbye. Meet in the next class.